When I saw news about the Doom Eternal gameplay reveal coming in a few days, August 10th, at 12 noon to be exact, I thought back to my first time playing Doom on PC when I was but a lad. Fast forward to now, and I think I've purchased every Doom iteration since Doom 3 and enjoyed them all. Doom 3 on the original Xbox was great fun, and I kept two Xboxes in the apartment so I could play campaign with visitors. Will Doom Eternal have some kind of co-op campaign capabilities? That would be appreciated. Now I know that since this is Doom, the consensus attitude is to just be happy with what you get because the game will be awesome. Just be glad it's being released at all. You know, don't be asking for all kinds of extra features. Just be happy with a sick campaign and maybe, maybe a little multiplayer. I get it, I really do. But I'm still asserting that some kind of campaign multiplayer would be nice. No disrespect, Bethesda. Reading a lot of game news, it's easy to feel like games are getting worse, not better. But quietly in the back of my mind, that doesn't seem right. There is something inside of people that likes discussing controversy. So maybe that's why game news is filled with supposed disappointment. Because a lot of games are masterpieces in one or more ways, only to be 100% sullied by a few shortcomings. I remember a time when all my friends and I talked about was graphics and whether or not a game had any sort of couch multiplayer component. The Doom reboot, which I will from here on out refer to as Doom 4, was wonderful and I played a good amount of it. I also enjoyed the simple online deathmatch offering. All this talk about Doom Eternal makes me want to revisit Doom 4 to say hello to its inhabitants once more. The masses loved Doom 4's campaign, but for the most part disliked the multiplayer. Some videos came out a few months after Doom 4's release suggesting that reviewers just didn't know how to play Doom 4's hectic multiplayer. That they're getting owned because the battlefield in that game was more well suited for mouse and keyboard players who casually melt faces in twitch reflex shooters like Quake and Unreal. Personally, I liked how the gameplay felt in campaign and multiplayer. The gameplay reveal for Doom Eternal on August 10th, 2018 will showcase single player gameplay, but we can only guess what aspects of single player goodness will be shown. Will we see boss battles? Rather than huge bosses, I'm more impressed with overwhelming amounts of different enemies surrounding me, all of them in some way working together to take me down. What's your opinion? What's your preference? A big ass boss or a lot of different enemies on screen? An orchestra of pain enveloped within a bullet hell, except those aren't bullets, they're monsters. In any event, no matter what gameplay is shown, I look forward to seeing it and eventually getting a chance to play it myself. Are you excited about the gameplay reveal? Leave comments and feedback in the comments section. Let's have a discussion. I read all the comments and I appreciate all of you. I've been playing games practically since I was born and I know many of you have too. It's something you're passionate about and your opinions on these topics matter. I hear you out there and I wish you the best. Thank you for your time. Peace.